Hi everyone, Alex here. Today's cavalry tutorial is all about text paths and how you can animate type along a path. I don't I don't okay, so wasting no time. First thing you wanna do is create a text shape and enter whatever text you might want. Also for me, I'm gonna change the alignment on the text shape. I'm just gonna change it to middle alignment and then center on the vertical alignment. Now, very quickly already, we've got a text shape set up. I'm gonna create a rectangle shape, so a square. I'm just gonna increase the size on it and I'm gonna remove the fill, enable the stroke so we can see what we're doing. Okay, so if you go back to your text shape now and at the bottom of the text shapes attributes is something called text path and this is all you need. So take your rectangle, drag it onto the text path and you've got your text along a path. Underneath the text path are two other options. We've got path travel, which will travel your text around that shape. And you've also got push, which will place it above or below the path, which is quite useful. Now you might run into an issue when you're playing with path travel and that is that the text doesn't actually travel around the path in a continuous loop. There's a few things you can do here one of them is, let's just move that back a bit. If we go onto the rectangle shape and we go to deformers, there's a deformer called travel. And then if you select the travel deformer and then scrub travel on the travel deformer, text will actually loop around that path as you'd expect. So there is another mild issue here where, as you can see, because we've got sharp corners on our rectangle shape, the text is somewhat cutting in when it's coming around those corners. One way to remedy that is to open the rectangle shape and then you could add some value to the corner radius and this will smooth out those corners and just make it a bit of a smoother transition. So moving on, I'm gonna edit the corner radius on the rectangle. I'm just gonna increase it all the way just so I've got a circle. And this is probably one of the places where you actually will want to reverse the path just so that you can make sure that the text is sitting on top of the ellipse we'll just change the push so that we can see that better and then you get that smooth text over an arch sort of effect that you see quite a lot okay so that's a very brief overview of simply just using a text path let's move on to doing something fun with it so I'm just gonna I'm gonna copy this text here and I'm gonna go into a brand new composition I'm gonna get rid of the rectangle because we don't need it and then on the text string I'm gonna write Right click I'm gonna add a string array and in the first one I'll type see you later or see you later and then we'll press this add button to create a second string and in here we'll type in a while crocodile then we'll just add that string array as a child to the text along the path so we can only see one of those strings here we need to correct that so I'm gonna create a basic line via alt or options clicking the line tool and this will create a line as a primitive and we'll just set the length, we'll just go for like 2,500 just so it goes outside the edges of the composition and we'll set divisions to 50 and then on deformers add an oscillator. We'll just make the oscillator a child of the basic line and then on the oscillator check use normals and we'll set minimum to minus 150 maximum to 150 and just change frequency down to one just to smooth that line out then go back to your text shape and then on the text path like we did earlier just add the basic line as a text path my travel push is still set to minus 25 from earlier so I'll just set to zero and we're in the middle of the path but this time I also want the push to be zero because I want it dead center of that path so now when you press play you'll see that the text nicely flows along the path that you've just made however at the moment we're not seeing the two strings that we put into the string array so what we need to do is we need to group the text shape and the basic line and we're gonna just hide the lines so that you can't see at the moment and then now you're gonna want to select the group and press the duplicate button in the shelf and we're gonna change distribution to linear and we're gonna set direction to vertical we're also gonna change the size mode to step and then just reduce the size until you're about until your lines are like evenly above and below each other and now because we're in step mode, we can just increase the count and we can effectively fill the screen here. And when we press play, we fill in the screen with all of this oscillated text. And now you can start thinking about playing with the stylization of it all. So if we go to the text shape that we created and maybe just start picking through fonts. Oh, impact, that'll do. We can now start playing with text fill and styling it a little bit further. So on your text shape, if you come down to material behaviors, 
click on the little plus and go for apply text fill. So if we now select the apply text fill, we can start playing with the rejects or the specific indices, but we're going to stay with rejects for today. And then on the rejects attribute, we'll just click on there and we'll go for, we'll select capitals oscillator and oscillator is now purple in the viewport, but we've got a couple of other keywords in here that we need to look at. And even though you can't see, say the second line in a wild crocodile in the string on the text shape, you can still apply another text fill and and then we'll type in here crocodile, oh, capitals, crocodile, and crocodile's now purple. But we should probably pick another color. We'll go for like a, a green. That's almost cavalry green, isn't it? I'll probably just quickly set the background to black. It might help us see these colors. I'm going to add one more material behavior, and I think I'll change see you later. See you later. Let's say purple, but we'll do it as the cavalry pink. And we've still got in a while that's the main color, but if you change the text fills original color, we'll go for white with that. Now we press play. It's doesn't look much different animation wise, but it's a little bit more captivating to the eye. I'm gonna be a bit cheeky on the string array, and I'm just gonna copy in a wild crocodile onto the top line as well and the same for see you later oscillator onto the bottom line just so that they're not it perfectly in line you could just do it all as one string but i guess this staggers it a little bit better for what we're doing next all right i've just clocked my issue i need a variable font and if you've not used variable fonts before that's fine you may already have them installed or you may not you may have to go find one i'm sure if you go to google fonts and just type in a variable font something will show up or you could probably find a free one online that's not going to be an issue so for me i'm going to go for something i've got already called cascadia code and to tell it's variable, the one giveaway is that there's this little burger menu here, or when you downloaded it, the name of it might actually contain variable. I don't think I've got one that does have that, but a lot of them do. And for those of us that don't really know what variable is, when you open this little burger menu, you can pop it out by just clicking and dragging this and we'll put it in the middle of the screen. Let's pause this a second. You can change the weight of the font there. So if we pull that in all the way down to 200 and up to 700, the weight is you know, as you can see, it's getting skinnier or fatter depending on the weight of the font. Okay, so this is a minimum of 200, maximum of 700. As always, right click, add behavior, oscillator, everybody's best friend. Oscillator, we're gonna have the minimum as 200 because that's the minimum font weight. And then the maximum it's 700 because we created it while it was at 700, so that's fine. And then we're gonna change stagger to five. And as you can see, some of these are skinnier, some are fatter, and it should pass through in like a wave effect. I should also mention if you've got a bad computer like me, this might be quite expensive on your system. I'm also streaming, not streaming, recording at the same time, which is also taking up quite a lot of my GPU. So I apologize for that. So for me personally, I'm just going to go back on because of this font, it spaced the words out quite fast. So I'm just going to reduce the word spacing so that they're a little bit closer like you would normally get. And I'm going to change the composition size to the 1080 by 1080 square just for a standard sort of Instagram post. Let's lower the words even more. And then just to add that final bit of motion, we're going to add a oscillator to the path travel on the text shape. So right click path travel, add behavior, oscillator. And on this, we're going to go for minus 10 plus 10 and we'll stagger it at 2.5. And we've got a really cool oscillating wave text effect. All right, cool. So I think that about wraps it up, unless you want to know how to do this, which is pretty much the same setup. But all I did was on the basic line, instead of adding an oscillator, I added a noise and I ran that through the duplicator and it all worked the same way. All right, so I'm sure you guys have much better plans for what you want to do with this. I'd love to see it, but if there's anything you want to see in future, let me know if there's any motion graphics trends that are going around that you think, oh, could Cavalry do that? Cavalry probably can do that. Just let me know, ask, I'll try, and I'll see what I can do. But honestly, Cavalry is so capable of way more than you think try it please like and subscribe if you want to see more let me know what you want to see follow me on instagram send me what you've made and i'll see you on the next one I know.
Dude.